Hey, so I had an idea. What if you attempted to do everything a Morrowind character could do? Swing all the swords, walk the roads, carry the weight, absorb all the damage. It could theoretically be done. So let's get started. Morrowind needs no introduction. It's 20 years old now, but it's just an Elder Scrolls. Start as a prisoner, build a character, get crappy gear, head to the first big city, meet the plot relevant NPC, and do busy work. So I did. Hey, if I recap everything, we'll be here for as long as the LP itself. And you could just go watch that. If someone's going to go through this twice, it better not be me. But, as I mentioned, the catch here is I did everything in real life, to the best of my ability. For this, I walked to the store, filming me as my wife. It was about the same distance, I think, and because I had barely anything in my inventory, I carried basically nothing. So, based on how far away the store is from me, and how close Sidonin is to Balmora, that's about how long I walked for. Back in game, I met up with the plot man this go-around. He alleges his name is Caius Cossades, and his cover story is that he's a crackhead. You know, so he has to do as much crack as he can. A little space crack. Personally, I think it's a way to promote a problem employee and get him out of the office, you know? Greg's crack addiction is dragging everyone else down, so let's promote him over to the Wisconsin branch where he'll never speak to anyone ever again. Anyway, Crackhead's convinced the Emperor still gives a damn about what he does, so he tells me I'm his new agent, since as a prisoner, I have no rights and I'm forced to comply with the Republic of Patrick Stewart. So he sent me to go to the Fire's Guild to generate a cover story as an adventurer, which is allegedly a common job despite the fact the only other adventurer I have ever encountered in all of Tamriel is just me and other games. More wisdom from the mouth of addicts, I guess. The Fighters Guild, comprised entirely of tough-looking people who stand in one place their whole life and don't actually fight, sent me off to go do the game's first nested task. Kill some rats. I get it. Bully the new guy. You're in a Western RPG. Go kill rats. I went to this girl's house, murdered some out-of-state mammals, and took a nap in her bed, which isn't illegal for some reason. Then, for whatever reason, the Murder for Hire Guild sent a visitor over to kill me. Tamriel's finest guild of assassins' best new hire was then dispatched by a homeless man with some cutlery. Though I took some hits. Here I am taking them in the real world, too. Uh, just slash, yeah. Just go up. Uh, like, like that? Just hit me. Just like, like that? <laughs> well, don't slap me with a flat of the blade. That's not how you do it. Like, like, like that? Yeah. Harder? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to spread them out so it's not all on one point. Okay. How many slashes do you want? Seven. More. Okay. And you want me to do them fast or slow? You can do them fast. Okay, seven? Yeah. Seven more? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. Ah. I'm in a Western RPG. You gotta follow the rules. So as is custom, I stole his clothes and weapons and used it to supplement my own arsenal or wallet. Considering the skill of my assailant, I'm not convinced he wasn't the victim of another crackhead promotion, much like my current patron. So I sold some of the new gear and bought something more my style, and clad in the leather of something with more eyes than legs, and more legs than there are more when citizens who aren't racist, I went off to go do some more busy work for Crackhead. Up north, there was a little dwarven settlement, one of those wonderful things about Vardenfell. Yes, near this town is an ancient relic of a lost civilization, even closer to the town than another town. You know, just one of those ancient lost civilizations you encounter on the way to the gas station. I did a simple puzzle for babies, and I was inside. In the real world, I loaded myself with the weight of my weapons and armor and sort off to do the same. I also wrapped my face in a mask and some leather to simulate what it must be like breathing in all the ash. Gotta say, it sucked. It was so windy I could feel all the air around me, but my face was so closed off I could barely breathe any of it. Ironic. Bathing in so much air, and yet I was choking just standing there. It's just a simple reminder that Vardenfell must suck to live on. All right, hey, so uh, I've put enough weight on my back to go to the Dwarven place. Um, also, I got a haircut last night, but that's not important. I put a leather uh, cosplay piece on my face with a face mask under it to simulate what it must be like to breathe in all that shit with also a, um, you know, thing on your face. I imagine it can't be easy to breathe in Morrowind, and the leather everyone wears probably doesn't help. And then I've got enough weight on my back. Um, so I'll come back with a puzzle box, I guess. So, you know. Once inside, I grappled with Bethany Esda's miserable area design. Despite the fact the inside of the dungeon is long and linear, but basically a straight line, to complete it, you must double back about 10 seconds into the damn thing and leap onto this little shelf. You don't even need to go through it all. Just leave once Crackhead's special Rubik's Cube is in your pocket. 
but since I got into a few fights inside, I had to take that damage in real life. This time I had armor, a leather jacket, which absorbed uh, some of the pain. I mean, I don't want you to hit me any harder, but I think that's good, what's going to have to happen. I'm fucking sweating, dude. Keep going. Let's get this over with. Okay, in the same perk? Yeah. All right, you have nine more. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. I'm sweating so hard. Oh my god, you are. <laughs> here, here. Little healing disc. You're sweet. Little healing. Yeah. Girls are watching. Come on. Oh yeah, another thing. If I took a healing potion, uh, then I just counted it as a hit I don't have to take. I probably mentioned that at some point, but <laughs> I'll specify I'm trying to avoid taking damage. And I think after this I get heavy armor, which is good because I don't want to be hit with just leather jacket anymore. I'm fucking spinning. All right, last three. Come on. Okay, ready? Yep. One. Da -da -da. Two. Da -da -da. Three. Ah, fuck. Once I made it back and dropped it off, I got the next leg of the quest. Go level grind. This passed without incident, despite the fact I got lost by crazy for a whole episode. I did some fights. This time with better armor, I did a whole lot more walking. I did the same in the real world as well, even repelling an outlander invader. You will suffer greatly. There is no escape. I did two dungeons during this and then had to take that damage, which I did here. Do it again. It's nothing. It's nothing? <laughs> Good. Okay, it's nothing. Try it on the back. I jumped because I was scared, but it it is still nothing. Do it more. Okay. Yeah, it's it's nothing. I'm just like if I if I shake, it's because my fat's jiggling from the, <laughs> the impact. But like, um, <laughs> I kind of don't know what to say. I guess we're done here. Are we done? Any I, more? Like. <laughs> Should I get the flamethrower? Well, well, hold on now. But by the logic I've given myself, I guess this counts. Like, and by this logic, I guess Norevarin shouldn't really take any heavy armor, like any damage while he has heavy armor on. You get spooked damage. I, well, it wouldn't make sense if you got like stamina damage because it's tiring you out. Yeah, yeah. But like. Do we try to do it harder? I mean, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Hard as I can do. Ready? Okay. Actually, let's do it on the back so I don't accidentally hit you in the face. Okay. Yeah, then you'll hit me in the back of the neck. Is the sword okay? Yeah, the sword's fine. Let me see this. Yeah? So, that's good news for me. By that logic, I don't have to take hits as long as I have heavy armor on, which is good. It also means that the game's a little not realistic, but for God's sakes, there's magic in this game. Don't ask who pumps the Batmobile's tires. No one cares. But I did still have to do a lot of walking because I spent the entire hour basically completely lost. Morrowind isn't really known for having cohesive maps or logic to it. If you want to find out how to get somewhere, you need to physically ask for directions, and someone will tell you to walk south for a few minutes until you see a specific pile of rocks, at which point you should turn left and then go until you see a big dead guy, and then go north, and then you might be there maybe. Still on that busy work grind, I continued exploring around Morrowind, doing some quests, fighting some poachers, poaching eggs from the egg mines. That's a neat thing I like, by the way. Eggs are mined here. Coincidentally enough, on this day it rained in Morrowind. It also rained in the real world. It's fucking windy! <laughs> it's really fucking windy out. Both our umbrellas have blown out multiple times. Wind up my skirts. <laughs> How cold are you? Oh, really? How long until we get home? Uh, like 15 minutes. All right, you can do this, okay? I know. Oh, tell me about your homeworld, Uncle. <laughs>
Yeah, so I actually did walk with about 40 pounds on my back in the rain. I said I would do it, but I didn't really expect that I would actually go through the rain. Not that I didn't want to, but I just didn't think it would happen. My state isn't exactly known for having reliable weather. I mean, I live in the Midwest, possibly the only place in the world more harsh than Australia or the real Morrowind. You know, a place that actually exists. Anyway, here's me struggling through the wind some more. I mean, it's not my fault that I make this look easy. But to be perfectly frank with you, uh, this got harder. Um, for whatever reason, the wind picked up on our way home, and while we were on the way home, my umbrella completely turned inside out, and I was forced to do the rest of the ride without one. All right, next update. This is where the umbrella's at. It, it kind of works, you know? It's like a real umbrella. You got to fight the wind to use it, though, you know? Not exactly user-friendly. I'm fragile, but I'm not that fragile. <laughs> Back at base, Kaya sent me to go to Vivek City. Basically the capital city of Morrowind. So I could get some informants. I did that. You're free to watch how. I'm not exactly proud of it. I certainly broke a lot of laws. I mean, yeah, I killed this guy. But who hasn't killed a guy? You know, it's Morrowind. Killing people's the soup of the day. Also, you know, he was just an outlander. Who really cares? Whoops. Alright, cool. And I mean, yeah, I killed these guys. But they were talking shit. I went back to Crackhead with the information I'd gotten from Balmora and talked to him about it. He seemed very interested in this whole Nereverine prophecy. Dunmer had this prophecy that some guy called the Nereverine, who is the reincarnation of Nerevar, is going to come out of nowhere, save the world, and solve everyone's problems. Well, I've already solved a lot of problems, and I've come out of nowhere. So, maybe he's got a little plan working. And, since I don't have any rights, I kind of have to go along with it. Unless I kill him. Which I may. But, until he figures out what exactly to do with me, he sent me to go off and do more busy work. Which I did. And so, my fate and the fate of Morrowind became inexorably linked. Prophecy, alliances, gods, man, the citizens of Morrowind, a horrible virus, ancient curses, one who would kill and eat God, all burn at the heart of this fucked up island full of weird bugs. But, you know, right now I'm just running around doing busy work and killing people the Fighters Guild wants me to kill. Really, I seem to be more of an assassin in the Fighters Guild than I do for the Assassin's Guild. If you'd like to see more of this playthrough, I'm actually posting it alongside all of these videos. But if you would prefer just watching these, the next one should come out in two weeks, assuming the schedule didn't slip. This was actually supposed to come out yesterday, but, well, I did uh, the damage-taking part of it the night before. Here's my back from that. So, that looks pretty bad, but those are all welts. They healed in a couple of minutes afterwards. With better armor on, they would be even less red and angry. I, myself, have been carrying this weight decently well. I'm sore sometimes, but... Other than that, it isn't so bad. I think that this could be possible. I might have to cancel this part of the video series early. I won't cancel the LP, but just in case, I want to make sure that it's out there that my body might give out and I don't want to hurt myself too bad for this portion of it. But really, this whole thing, Morrowind's main quest, is not that bad. I feel like a human could do this. Pretty, you know... Pretty simple, all things considered. Just walking, fighting a bunch of weird bugs and dark elves who yell racial slurs at you. It's not too bad, all things considered. So, yeah. If you'd like to see more of this series itself, the episodes heavily edited and with the real-world footage interspliced in 
should come out every two weeks, assuming that my schedule doesn't slip and I don't take too much damage in the real world from doing this. If you'd like to see this playthrough itself, I'm uploading it alongside these longer edited videos. It should be a little more common as well, especially since these are way easier to make. I also did a bunch of Morrowind memes and uh, about a year ago, exactly, I attempted to do a mediocre playthrough of Morrowind that ended in a few days. I also did a bunch of videos of me touring the island. As for me myself, I'm Alfred, but that's only short for El Friedrich, which is my full first name. I'm a bi, queer person of ostensibly male but questionable gender who enjoys Morrowind, making videos, and doing really weird projects like this one. I've done a whole bunch of LPs, and I'm even starting to get ads on my videos now. I mean, I don't get any revenue from them, but I'm glad somebody's profiting off of all of my hard work. Normally, I don't ask for people to subscribe, but considering I am trying to get to a thousand so I can monetize, please do. But yeah, um, until next time, I'm Alfred. It's short for El Friedrich. Thanks for sitting through this whole thing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.